children, my name is Miss Sang. I work as an English teacher in Chiang Wai Ye Primary School. This is Tree. Welcome to Miss Sang's class. Family and Friends Special Edition Grade 5 Student Book by Naomi Simmons and Tamsin Thompson. Copyright Oxford University Press 2016. Objectives of the lesson To read and understand a factual text about hand marks. To understand descriptions of things in a text. Today we are going to study Unit 1, The Ancient Mayans, Lesson 5. Before starting new lesson, let's get started with one song. Are you ready? Listen and sing. Look at this picture. What can you see? We can see leaf houses, sands, trees. Do you know the thing has many colors and is hung on the tree? It is hangmax. Today we learn the story about hangmax. Student, listen, point, and read the story. After that, tell me who made handbags. Now class, let's read the story about handbags. Listening 10. Listen and read. Handbags. Thousands of years ago, the Mayans used the bark from hammock trees to make a special kind of bed. These beds were hammocks. People used them to sit on or to sleep in. They were light and easy to carry. The Mayans often moved from place to place, and they didn't want to carry heavy things. The Mayans lived in rainforests. The weather was hot and there were lots of bugs, so it was difficult to sleep. Hammocks were perfect beds for the Mayans because they weren't on the ground. At first, only people in hot countries had hammocks. But then, a man called Christopher Columbus took hammocks to Europe. Soon, sailors on ships started to sleep in hammocks because they were soft and comfortable. Today, Mayan people in Central America still make hammocks, and people all over the world buy them to use in their backyards or homes. 
Look around in Vietnam, and it is easy to see people reading, sleeping, and drinking in hammocks. They are everywhere, in people's houses, in cafes, and at the beach. Does your family have a hammock? After reading the story, we can answer the question, Who made hammocks? The Mayans made hammocks. It's time for you to underline these words in the test. Guess their meanings and then check them in the dictionary. Light, easy, rainforest, heavy, difficult, soft, hammock. Let's read some new words we learned today. Then you can write down in your notebooks. Heavy, heavy, light, light. Soft, soft, easy, easy, difficult, difficult, hammock, hammock, rainforest, rainforest. Listening 10. Students, Listen and read. let's read the story Hammocks. again. Thousands of years ago, the Mayans used the bark from hammock trees to make a special kind of bed. These beds were hammocks. People used them to sit on or to sleep in. They were light and easy to carry. The Mayans often moved from place to place and they didn't want to carry heavy things. The Mayans lived in rainforests. The weather was hot and there were lots of bugs, so it was difficult to sleep. Hammocks were perfect beds for the Mayans because they weren't on the ground. At first, only people in hot countries had hammocks. But then, a man called Christopher Columbus took hammocks to Europe. Soon, sailors on ships started to sleep in hammocks because they were soft and comfortable. Today, Mayan people in Central America still make hammocks, and people all over the world buy them to use in their backyards or homes. Look around in Vietnam. And it is easy to see people reading, sleeping, and drinking in hammocks. They are everywhere, in people's houses, in cafes, and at the beach. Does your family have a hammock? Listening 7. Let's relax by Listen one song and we sing. learned last time. My birthday. Are you ready? swim I didn't read a book I didn't play computer games I didn't go to school I didn't help my mom at home my day was really cool it was my birthday yesterday hooray 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 I had a party with my friends we sang and danced all day Do you want to play game? Are you ready? This game is called Seth Peter. In each picture, there are two words. If you choose the correct word, you can Seth Peter. If you don't choose the correct word, Peter fell fall into the sea.
I give you an example. The hammocks weren't heavy. They were blah blah blah, light or heavy. My answer is light. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I can save Peter. Blah blah blah. Of years ago, the Mayans used the park of hammock trees to make a special kind of bed. Thousands or hundreds? Which one is the correct answer? Your answer is... Oh, oh yeah. yeah! Yes, that's right! Thousands! You can save Peter! The Mayans didn't want to carry blah 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 things light or heavy. Your answer is... Oh, yeah! That's right! You can save Peter! The Mayans live in the blah 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 cities or rainforests. Your answer is... Oh my, oh god. my god! No, it's not correct answer! Peter falls into the sea. The correct answer is rainforests. First, only people in blah 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 countries had hammocks. You choose cold or hot. Your answer is oh, oh yeah. Hot, yes, is correct answer. You can save Peter. Christopher Columbus took hammocks to blah blah blah. Asia or Europe? Your answer is... Oh my, oh god. my god! Asia? No! It's not correct answer! The correct answer is Europe! Peter falls into the sea! You can't not say Peter! Now, it is blah 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 to see people reading in hammers around Vietnam. Which one do you choose? Easy or difficult? Your answer is... Oh, oh yeah! Easy! Yes, you can save Peter! This game is over! We finished the lesson today! You did great job! When you stop this video, you need Listen and read the story again. Learn new words by heart. Students, remember some new words we learned today. Heavy, light, soft, easy, difficult, hammock. Students, do you like the lesson today? Your work in Unit 1 Lesson 5 is OK, good or excellent. Students, we finished the lesson today. Let's sing a song to say goodbye. Goodbye, children. So long now. So long now. Till next time. See you soon. It was so nice to have you here with me today. So long now. Thank you for watching this video. My full name is Wang Zheng Nhu Shang. I'm from Tianguang Yu Primary School, and this is my school's website. 